Let's check the comment about the Explorer. Maybe we can figure out what people like and don't like. Crazy when everything that people want in their scooter, when they think I'm Michelangelo, I can barely draw. Riding the scooter should be an experience, starting with your thumb and ending with your feet. It should be an unknown feeling almost, something completely new. Hello everybody, today we're going to show you the Apollo Explorer. There it is. <laughs> you know, we've been working on the Explorer, this one, for two years now. It's the scooter I was the most excited about this year because it just looks so different, right? And we saw some competitors releasing some that are similar and it was killing me because I knew that we had something crazy that we couldn't show. So super excited to finally be able to show you the Explore 2023. I've been working on this one for two years now. I was waiting to present it to you because we were waiting to clear a patent and boy, did we patent it. And boy, have we patented it. <laughs> so we have industrial patent, design patent, uh, because it's quite unique as you can see. And we really think that this scooter is gonna become a key signature of the Apollo design. So you can see right from the start, it looked completely different. It's a scooter that you stand on each side of the platform, like this. It's a completely new experience, a reinvented way of riding scooters. And as you can already see, there's a lot of points that are similar to what we have on the Pro, right? Uh, we have the good kickstand that I just stepped on. So I'll walk you through each and every component. So let's check it out. So now for the handlebar, you can see, the first thing you notice is the hook, right? That's not very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, we have a new solution for this. It's gonna be completely integrated. It's gonna be great. Uh, we have the throttle. This is again, the V7 throttle on this. This is the first prototype, as I mentioned before. We're gonna have the V8 throttle, obviously, uh, but you can see the integration is beautiful between the brake handle, the throttle, and the, the little caps we put to hide all the wires. I love it. We have the, the handles here. We're gonna change them for the same as the Air and City 2023 that we're gonna be revealing soon. We also have the turning signal at the end of the handlebar, like we want to put on every single model that we're gonna release. Look like this. On this prototype, it's not bright enough. On the final one, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very bright, like the rest of the light on this scooter. We have the brake handle. Again, same objective. We're gonna switch those brake handle to the one we have on the city because we want to go for something that is proven. We adapted the, the cap of the throttle that linked the throttle to the brake handle to match the one on the city. We have a new one that I 3D printed. And then we have the phone holder, right? Phone holder is like the one that you saw on the V4 of the Pro. So it's the twist cap that we have here to really secure your phone. Wireless charger, same speaker. This whole part, starting here, except for the hook, is the same as the Pro. So that's great because on production, it's gonna be easier to plan the parts in advance or spare part. We have one part that's gonna be covering multiple scooters. And again, this phone holder, we're working on another solution. It's gonna be something more integrated, more clean. Uh, so don't judge it yet. It's about to get a lot better. And then if we go on the front, same thing. We kept that whole top part, the headset gray to match with the body. Uh, I truly think that this is better than black. Um, and we have the Apple logo in the front. Um, so again, as you can see, the things are pretty much the same as a pro on that part of the scooter. Okay, we're gonna put it on the lift this up. okay so now I'm gonna show you one of the coolest feature about it you can unfold the platform so extremely compact when we ship it save on shipping costs but also in your apartment it's gonna take less space so look at this beauty if we start from the back like the classic we did for the all the scooters we show you what do we have here we have the beautiful fender. Again, it's going all the way to the frame, like the V4 of the Pro you saw. I'm not going back to the semi fender that we had before. I'm done with this. We have the rubber cap for the wheel here. So look at this, that's great, right? That means there's no rattling. Uh, the nuts are covered. You don't see any screws on that scooter and any wires, right? Except for the brake cables. But those are cables, not wires, right? <laughs> so what do we have? At the back, we have a rear motor. 
obviously. We have drum brakes. It's the same motor that we have on the city, for now at least. We might upgrade them, but dual 500 watt is usually what we are aiming for. Uh, it's great torque, the top speed is great depending on the voltage. Um, so rear motor, we go up here. We have the kick stand that is integrated. I'll show it to you later when it's off the stand. We have the rear charging port here in the middle of the lights. That's great, you know, you connect it. So instead of having something that stick out like on the old model, keep in mind, this is replacing the Apollo Explorer, right? So I'll be comparing it to the Apollo Explorer we had before. The charging port on the old Explorer was on the side, right? When you were crashing with it, it was scraping it, sometimes making a short damaging the battery. Nothing was great about it. This one, super simple, is the same as the city. So it's round, you can plug it however you want. You cannot mess it up. And it's hidden inside the light and there's a cover and rubber to protect against the water. Phenomenal, IP66. If we go up, we have the little hook here to clip the top of the scooter to the, the body. So if you want to fold it, lock it, carry it, that's how you're gonna do it. Same system as the city, but more integrated. If you look at the city, it's sticking out. Now at least it's flush with the frame. Pretty simple design. And we changed that compared to the city that when you lock it, well, it's gonna stay locked because we know that you are annoyed by the system on the city. When the stem is going down, it's unclipping and then it's frustrating, right? I'm always more frustrated than you. Keep that in mind when you leave comment. I'm extremely critical about the, the parts. So for now, one of the most requested features of all time, a removable, swappable battery. So if we look here, it look, well, you can almost not see it, right? Because it's so well integrated. Look at those curves. There's a button here. Voila, that's how you remove the battery. You take it, put it up. And look at this battery, it's a beautiful metal box, a solid chunk, you know? And that Samsung 40T's 21700, that's la creme de la creme. You don't have any better cell than this. There is no cells that are more expensive than this too. And the reason why, it's because the pack is pretty small. This is a 52 volt 8AH. I know what you're thinking. We I have an answer to that, it's a small pack. Uh, so because it's a small pack like this, I need a very high amount of discharge per cell for the dual motor, right? Uh, because usually with this is a 14S2P, 52 volt ATH, you can only do one motor with it. So, but I really wanted to do two motors. So that's why we need to use crazy good cells. So if we look inside the body now, you, we have the, the spring for the release. Uh, we have the pin at the front for the smart BMS, the power. And on the battery itself, at the front, we also have another charging port. So again, you can charge the scooter when the battery is in via the rear charging port, but you can also remove the battery, charge it here. Or if you have extra batteries, well, you don't need to remove the, the battery you have in the scooter, put the new battery in and charge it. You can just charge them separately, which is great. That's what you want. And if I put it back, look how smooth it is. I'm gonna slide it here and see how smooth Oof, that little click, huh? Look how smooth it is. That sound, that's what you're looking for for a swappable battery. Tight, sharp, beautiful. If we go up on the neck, you see that little plate here? Well, this is a GPS antenna to stream the location of your device at all time. Just like we have on the Pro, we're gonna put GPS antenna on every of our scooters, so that's where it is. With this, you're gonna be able to locate it, track it, control it, do whatever you want with your scooter remotely. So it's just an extra piece of mind that we are offering. For those that are worried that the GPS antenna is uh, exposed, well, two things. You need always a GPS antenna to be uh, facing up and not covered by metal. So that's why I had to put it here because obviously I would put it inside the frame, but GPS, it's like, they say it's like a drain of water coming down. Uh, it need to be, there, it shouldn't work, so we are already lucky that it worked, but it needs to be with a, a ceramic casing uh, facing up, so that's why it's exposed like this. For those of you who could say, well, a thief's gonna see this, drill it, remove it. Well, first of all, I don't think anyone's gonna know that, just you listening to this video. And if you uh, are tempering with it, the scooter's gonna shut down, and this is basically a kill switch. If anything happened to the GPS, well, the scooter's just gonna remain off. So if we go up, we have the folding mechanism. You can see it's the same as the Pro. Uh, great folding mechanism, nothing to complain about there. Maybe we can improve it, we're gonna see that later. If we go down, well, same thing. We have the fender protecting the front suspension. That's what you want, uh, offering great coverage. Same thing with the hubcap rubber. It's all the same thing as the rear. 
the wires for the motors are passing inside, so that's super discreet. You have brackets built in for the brake cable because that's also a motor but with a drum brake and also for the motor cable going behind the suspension. Fantastic. The pivot point for the front forks is also rubber cap, so it just looks clean, right? And we have a, a solid swing arm here to accommodate the suspension of the scooter. So that's pretty much it for the front. It's a clean, simple, and it's proven design that we used before. If we go up the stem, we have our COB light here. This is the one that was on the V4 of the Pro, so it can change color, it's the same shade as the body. I'll turn on the light soon. You're gonna see it look amazing. With this one, you can do interaction. So when it's in alarm mode, it's gonna be red. If you want to see the, the level of the battery, we can display it here. We can do whatever we want with that. So maybe let us know in the comment if you have any suggestion uh, of cool things we could do with it, we can. If we go up, we have the headlight shining on the road. So this light and the one on the body are to be seen. This one is to see, right? So you're gonna be able to see the road with this one, pretty powerful one. Just behind it, it's the headset that is great to match with the stem. And I explained why we decided to make it gray on the V4 video. If you haven't uh, seen it, go check it out on this link. So now I'll put it on the ground, show you the kickstand and all the cool light interaction. I'll turn it on. And you can see this one is doing the green motion that the V1, V2, and V3 of the Pro were doing. It's gonna be the white one like I showed in the V4 video of the Pro. So let me turn it on. That sound's gonna change as well, uh, but that's how it look. Look at this beauty. The lights on the stem and the body are matching. Again, so it seems like a small thing, right? But it's not, it's a big deal. Uh, it looked beautiful and what I love about it is that it looks like I'm like levitating, you know? Like, look at this. I have like, I'm floating on platform on a scooter that look incredible. That's just so cool. And I guarantee you, I rode this scooter a lot in the streets. Everyone in the streets are, are like this. All right, so here's a cool thing that those lights can do. The first one that I love, well, is the brake light. It's becoming red. The rear light is flashing as well. That look cool, it's visible. Again, that's what we're gonna try to do on the Pro as well. I think the rear light flash, and you can see how, how more visible it is, right? Uh, it's visceral almost, so when you see a red flashing light like this, and the one on the body, I mean, that just look incredible, right? We're gonna be offering the same thing as the Pro. You're gonna be able to change the color of the deck, of the turning signal, of the brake light, of everything you wanna do. Um, and talking about the turning signal, that's how it looks. So pretty cool, I love it. Again, the whole platform become the yellow line with the cool motion. Uh, and we have the same thing on the turn on the handlebar like I showed before. That's pretty cool. Uh, the hard part with those platform, it's to make them foldable, right? Because you can fold them like this, but also keeping the lights in it, right? Because you have electric wires that need to be, well, waterproofed. And the wire needs to follow the platform when I fold it to, so it doesn't break, right? So that was quite a challenge to do. Um, the platform itself, I love it because you have a little chamfer here. So naturally when you put your foot on it, well, you can locate uh, where it is because of that angle here. You can feel the edge. Now the two other features that are pretty cool. Well, we have the horn, which sounds like this. Again, you're gonna be able to decide in the app uh, the type of horn you want, it's your choice. The other cool thing is the alarm. So let's say you park your scooter, uh, you go in a store or wherever, well, you can lock it. When it's locked, it's gonna be red. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the front one of the stem red as well. Let us know in the comment. What I'm trying to do as well is those lights turn off after two minutes so it won't drain the battery, right? So you can leave the scooter in the alarm state the whole day without having the lights turned on. And those lights are so bright, you know, it's gonna, people are gonna look at it and you don't want people to look at something you're trying to hide almost when it's outside, right? So maybe I'm gonna leave just some small red light at the back so you see that it's in alarm mode, you know? But it's not necessarily draining the battery. So that's one of the cool things we're trying to do. And again, if someone grab it and try to steal it. <laughs> it's gonna ring. <laughs> So pretty loud. You're gonna be able to adjust it in the app, the volume if you want, uh, but also different sounds, uh, some that are more funny and some that are more extreme like this one. Um, so again, really depend on you, uh, what you want to choose. If you want to look at the battery level for now, you do three click on the power button and all the lights gonna turn the color 
of the battery. So now if I click three times, the battery is full, it's gonna turn green, like this, uh, and it's gonna go through the whole spectrum of color, uh, orange, yellow, uh, until it's red, basically. Um, so that's a quick way to see how, many, how much battery you have, or obviously to connect with the app, right? Um, the other thing I'm trying to do, and I did it on the Pro, is maybe uh, we just show the battery level with this front bar here, you know? So this represents 100%. I click three times on it, then it's going down, and maybe like this switch to red, uh, yellow, green, uh, the, the spectrum of color as well, and it's just draining as the battery goes down, the, the bar is going down. So le let me know in the comment what you prefer. And again, 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 you can connect to the app and see the battery level, see the remaining mileage that you have on the scooter, see the charging cycle with the smart BMS. So you have all the details of the battery within the app. Again, I don't know if you remember the V1 of the Pro, but we had a lot more work to do to achieve that level of quality and consistency in our samples. So I'm really happy about it. That shows that we are getting better and better at making prototypes. Honestly, for a regular company, that would be good enough to go to market. Like that scooter rides perfectly. Everything is great about it. But you know us, we're gonna be doing a second, a third, and a fourth prototype probably. But really happy about it. And I love that we're reusing the same components. Again, we are releasing scooters and the part have been proven to work on the city, on the pro, on the go, sort of the full name mechanics, like I mentioned for the pro. So I'm really happy about that. And um, it's gonna also make you happy because you're gonna have a scooter that 90% of the part has been proven already. So it's an extra peace of mind that you're gonna have. So now what I don't like about the scooter and what we're gonna work uh, to change in the next prototype Let's start from the back. Um, this scooter rides phenomenally well. Uh, there's a front suspension, the balance is great, it's so stable. It's hard to express just how stable it is. It's one of the most stable scooter I've ever ridden, that's for sure. But there's no rear suspension, right? And just look at this scooter, it's gonna be an expensive scooter, obviously. We need to have a rear suspension, so I'm gonna be working to put maybe a rear rubber suspension, uh, like a block, like you can see on Dualtron, for example. Um, and if I do this, I'm probably gonna do the same in the front as well, so it's consistent. I've been playing a lot with rubber suspension, and, and it's great, you know, it's smooth. The dampening when you jump feels amazing. It's like jumping on cloud. Um, so I think I'm gonna do this, and again, there's no way for me to put the spring in there really, right? You have the battery, the controller, the, everything is so jam-packed that, I can maybe put a rubber block at the behind, so I'm probably gonna do that. Again, same at the front. The rear hook to lock the stem down, I don't like that. Uh, you know, that's good enough for, again, for regular scooter company. I want something integrated, something with the push button, something that's gonna be easy to lock, to unlock, uh, something convenient, you know? Um, and maybe a hook at the top that you can open beers with it, you know, <laughs> because it's cool. So I'm gonna be changing this rear part here to accommodate that. On the battery itself, the system is great. I think inside I can change the spring to be more covered, you know, against corrosion and it's gonna last longer with maybe a nice rubber cover. I don't know yet, but I think I can do something a bit better, but the actual system itself, the locking one, it's phenomenal. So not much work to do on this and that was the hardest part of that scooter. In the front here, I want clean LEDs that's gonna indicate how much battery you have left in the battery, all right? So you don't need to, let's say you have a battery in your backpack, you don't need to, well, remove it of your backpack, put it in the scooter, check with your phone, uh, that, that's too much, right? So maybe like the old MacBook Pro, you know, you had like a couple LEDs on the side and a button, you were clicking on it, it was showing via the LEDs how much battery you had. I think I'm gonna do the same thing in the front. That's gonna be hard, honestly, because the battery are jam packed in there and to have the LEDs like, I need to do a little bit of magic, but again, I, th I think it's worth it. The GPS antenna, this one is working-ish. Uh, I want something that is way more accurate with the ping, the location is way faster. Uh, so I'm gonna be changing that module inside and it's gonna be scanning all the IP address nearby. So even if you put it in a basement that you don't receive any GPS signal, it's gonna be scanning the Wi-Fi IP address, even if it's private, and it's gonna tell you uh, via tri triangulation uh, what is the, the rough location of it. So that's great because you can imagine as soon as this is in an indoor parking, well, you lose the tracking uh, capability of it. Then we have the folding mechanism. Again, this one is the same as the V1, V2, and V3 of the Pro. We're gonna switch it to the V4 because it's fantastic. Um, and it's gonna fit better with the design. It's gonna be uh, in line with the stem. It won't stick out on both sides. It's easier to use, more safe. So yeah, definitely we're gonna upgrade that. If we go up, 
Uh, again, it's gonna be the same thing as the V5 and V6 of the Pro. I mentioned that there is a couple of change that's gonna happen on the handlebar section. Again, I won't say what, but uh, some part will change. Uh, and the brake handle, it's gonna be again, the same as the CD. You're gonna have a nice integrated bell. Um, so that's cool because it's giving you the choice between a loud horn or just a little friendly bell. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the grip handle, I'm gonna change them. Uh, it's gonna be again, the same on the CD and the Air 2023. Uh, it's gonna, those ones gonna be on this. They just look more refined and they are extremely grippy as well. So I love it. And that's pretty much it for the Explorer. Obviously, I love this scooter. Again, I know this is like a dual motor, 52 volt, 8 AH. It's a small battery, right? Personally, I was able to do 20 kilometers on the battery, like real kilometers, you know? Always 20 kilometers, after that it's dead, so. 20 kilometers per battery, uh, I don't think it's that bad. And we are looking at the option of maybe we're gonna put two batteries in the box, you know? So all of a sudden you have 52 volt, 16 AH, uh, or maybe we also just gonna increase uh, the battery capacity. So maybe it's gonna be a 13 AH, so if we put two, it's gonna be 26 AH. So that's pretty cool because all of a sudden it's like, you have the Pro that is 30 AH, you have this one 26 AH, so it's pretty close in terms of capacity. And it's nice that you can put it in your backpack because, well, the scooter is lighter because there's not an enormous battery at all time in it. But keep in mind that if we do this, it's gonna need to stick out here, right? We call it uh, the, the Camel battery. There's gonna be a bump like this. It looked pretty good and it's still integrated like uh, the curves to the battery. Let me know in the comment, do you prefer to have 8 AH and something flat, or you prefer to have something that is 13 AH with a little bump over it? Let me know, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm still torn between the two options. Um, so that's gonna change. And the reason why it's 52 volt and not let's say 48 volt, uh, it's because with two extra cell, I get a lot more watt hour, uh, the capacity of the battery. So that was the reasoning behind it. The top speed is higher on 52 volts. So this one can go at 65 kilometers per hour, which is pretty insane for that size of scooter. And also the more voltage you have, the less discharge and stress you're putting on the battery because to achieve the same wattage, you need less amp. So technical jargon aside, uh, it's overall better. It's not becoming as hot when you run it. So that's the reasoning why I want 52 volt instead of 48 volt, for example. So that's pretty much it. Again, let me know in the comment. If you have any suggestion, this is the first prototype. So now it's the time to tell us what is wrong about that scooter. But uh, I think overall it's pretty solid. So let us know. See ya.